Yo 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 Yogis, Louise here, and this is Yoga with Louise. Tips and cues to keep you safe and strong on the mat while keeping it light. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today we're going to be playing dead. I'm going to be walking you through Shavasana or corpse pose. This is the beginning and end pose for a lot of yoga practices. It's also a great way to teach yourself how to find your inner quiet, to just disconnect and chill. All right, let's hit the mat and I'll break it down for you. Shavasana is a supine pose, so you'll be lying down on your back for the whole pose. All right, so how to get down on your back? I'm going to quickly demo two positions for you. So you can start sitting up nice and tall in Dandasana staff pose. Just gently move back onto the elbows. Make sure those elbows are tracking underneath your shoulders and then just ease one arm down, ease the other one down, come to lying down. The other way that you can try to get there is from a seated roll down. Check out my seated roll down video. So for this one, maybe start with the feet slightly apart, maybe just inside of shoulder width apart. Pull that belly button in nice and tall. From here, take those arms out, extend palms in towards each other, and then start dropping your chin to your chest as you start pulling the belly button in, rolling down, articulating down through the spine one vertebra at a time, and then connecting to the mat, lying on your back. As your body connects to the mat, allow your feet to softly flop out towards the sides of the room, almost as if you were taking your legs into turnout. Your spine is in neutral, so there's a little space between your lower back and the mat, just allowing for that natural S-curve in your spine. Then you want to gently just lift both shoulder blades off the mat, Reconnect them to the mat by tucking the shoulder blades in towards the midline of the body, opening up your chest. Relax the backs of your hands into the mat, palms facing up towards the ceiling. No tension in the hands, so there's a slight curve of the fingertips. Then you want to check your neckline. So, we don't want to have the chin pointing up towards the ceiling. You're going to strain the back of your neck. So, softly drop the chin towards your chest, taking all the strain out of the back of your neck. Then make sure that you haven't dropped the head to one side. You want to be nicely aligned with the head. Then close the eyes, take your focus in, and start telling yourself to start softening and relaxing all the muscles in your body from the tips of your toes to the crown of your head. As you start taking your focus inward, start listening to the sound of your breath, start relaxing and breathing into Shavasana. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you found that helpful. Uh, shoot me your comments below. Like this video, please share it with your friends. And remember, hit that big red subscribe button so that you get copies of videos as they're released week to week. That's all for today. Till next time, keep it light.